Well, the time for campaigning in Iowa almost over, but still almost half of the voters polled say they could change their minds about who they're planning to support in tonight's caucus. From Trump's latest one-liners to the razor-thin margin between some candidates, Marley Hall is watching it all in Des Moines. One last thing. It was an early wake-up call for volunteers on caucus day. Even the normally confident Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is anxious. Well, you have to be a little bit nervous, and, you know, I like to win, and uh, I want to win for the country. I don't want to win for myself, and uh, this is actually my first election night. Marco Rubio stomped at a Des Moines Cracker Barrel with his kids this morning. He's polling in third place. Well, we'll be stumping hard for you tonight. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you very much. Ted Cruz is counting on an army of supporters to pull off an upset. The strength of this campaign is over 12,000 volunteers here in the state of Iowa. Republican Party officials say they expect a record turnout tonight, and that may bode well for Donald Trump. If it's big on the Republican side, that means these first-time voters that like Donald Trump have come out and turned out to caucus. Democrat Bernie Sanders is also counting on first-time voters. We need tens of millions of people to stand up and say loudly and clearly, enough is enough. Sanders and Hillary Clinton are in a virtual tie. I'm a little bit scarred up, but I'm still standing, and uh, I think that kind of uh, experience will really uh, do me well in this campaign. And the threat of a winter storm could impact voter turnout tonight. Marley Hall, CBS News, Des Moines, Iowa. Back here, Governor Bill Haslam is putting the finishing touches on his annual State of the State address. You can see what he has to say about Tennessee's budget surplus, how he plans to allocate those millions of dollars, and more. That's the State of the State address on News Channel 5 Plus and NewsChannel5.com at 6 tonight. The Academy of Country Music rolled out this year's nominations earlier this morning. Co-host of the ACM's Dirks Bentley made the trip to New York and CBS this morning to reveal some of the top categories, including Entertainer of the Year. Yeah, the nominees are? I have them right here in my hand. So ACM Entertainer of the Year, Jason Aldean, Yay. Garth Brooks, Yay. Luke Bryan, yeah. Eric Church, and Miranda Lambert. Right. Yeah, oh, we are. I'm singing my songs all morning. <laughs> yeah. to me. Yeah. Deep catalog stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, second category. Second category of the ACM Vocal Duo of the Year: Brothers Osborne, Dan and Shay, Florida Georgia Line, Joey and Rory, and Maddie and Tay. And we have the full list of nominees on our website at newschannel5.com. The ACM Awards are Sunday, April 3rd, right here on News Channel 5.